One example of an interesting behavior can be found on the New York Times webpage. Here, if you highlight a word, a question mark box pops up that allows you to define that word. If you're interested in finding out how it works, you can always view the page's source. But it's a mix of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, all of which could be responsible for the behavior you observe. Furthermore, if you look at any given JavaScript file, it's unlikely that you're going to find the parts of the functionality that you're interested in. There's just no mapping from the UI behavior to the code. After the user finishes recording, FireCrystal pops up with a replica of the page that they just recorded. At the bottom of the screen is a timeline with user events like mouse down and mouse up, and also DOM changes with screenshots of what happened. If the user clicks on a DOM change, the user input that caused that DOM change is replayed along with the DOM change itself. They can also see the JavaScript code that caused that DOM change. Lines of code that were run are highlighted in green, and the actual line of code that caused that DOM change is highlighted in yellow. If they're interested in seeing all of the code that affects a particular element, including HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, they can inspect that element specifically. This shows where the element was in the initial DOM, the JavaScript that affected it, and the CSS that affects it.